But, but looking at all of this and, and what's going on right now with North Korea and that that is getting tense, that Syria still remains very tense, is that the stuff or the black swan thing that, that keeps you up at night or maybe worried that, that changes the equation, that changes everything for commodities, from oil to metals to, to everything in between, you know, a lot of the agricultural goods that could turn for around sure. in, a, in, a, in a moment? N Neil, for sure, because a lot of that depends on geopolitical events. So when President Obama drew the line in the sand in Syria and then the line was crossed, nothing right. really happened. And then all of a sudden now we have President Trump, you know, making some tweets or making some comments about North Korea or in Syria. I, I think it's a little premature to see, but I think the markets are taking a wait-and-see approach about is he going to follow through with some of the, his actions or his comments or his tweets as it relates to some of these countries that you just referenced, North Korea especially, and in Syria. So I think it's a wait-and-see, and I think the markets are taking a wait-and-see approach because, as you just referenced, we haven't seen a whole lot of movement with the exception of the oil reference that I gave you earlier. You know, uh, very, very quickly, finally, you know, this concern about the president and what his son or, or key associates knew and what they were thinking with the Russians, et cetera. Is that something that, you know, moves into something? I mean, I, I always think that Richard Nixon probably would have survived Watergate as, as cr critical as it was, if not for lousy markets, inflation, stagflation, OPEC, the whole nine yards. This president, not bedeviled by that yet, might survive it just on that basis alone. Any thoughts on that? You know, I'm going to be really careful here, you know, <laughs> because this is kind of like the health care question. I'm getting a little you. bit out of my uh, strong suit. but I never you know, let that I, I get think... in my way, Terry. I, I pontificate <laughs> quite happily. Okay, so I won't either. <laughs> no, I, I think that, you know, the president obviously has got some really strong people around him. There's obviously with the uh, admission of the emails by Donald Trump Jr. has caused another stir. I think we need to get past this and we need to run this country. The government needs to function. He needs to fill the slots within the administration so we can function as a country. And we need to have, understand that we need partners around the world for us to be successful. And if we don't get the right partners around the world in order for trade and other reasons, we're not going to be successful. So I'm hoping that this administration gets past that and on to the business at hand. And you think it will? I, I absolutely do. I think that, like anything else, the office is bigger than the individual, and um, I think the country is bigger than the individuals. So I think that we will, under our principles, get to that point, hopefully soon. Terry, very good having you. Terry Duffy is the CME Group chairman and CEO. He's aging slightly better than I am, but I mean, uh, very good seeing you <laughs> Not again. Not much, buddy. Thank you very, Thank very you, much. Thank you, Neil. Appreciate it.